Hello and welcome to this edition of Exotic Gardening UK. In this episode I'll be showing you how to make a very heavy duty staging for the greenhouse. So I've set up my mitre saw on my workbench and clamped and screw that down and I've got the supports either side here as well I've got a power supply next to me I've got all my tools at hand it's time to start making the workbench so I've got these timbers that I'm going to use to make my uprights so I'm going to cut these into to make the legs I've got some other timbers to make the rest of the structure and battens to make the actual surface at the top so I'll go through it step by step and show you how I make the staging. So these lengths of timber are 2.4 meters long and I've just cut them in half so I've got legs that are gonna be 1.2 meters high. Obviously that's quite high for most people but I'm very tall so I want the staging to be relatively tall normally doing about 90 centimeters 100 centimeters tall and i cut them in half but they're not exactly 2.4 meters in length so what i've done is i've cut them in half cut my 1.2 meter height on one and then i've put the other leg against it and then the height difference of a few mil i've just marked on the longest length which is this one i'm just going to cut off the excess so they're both exactly the right height So now, if we just take that off, this should be 1.2 metres, and if we put it next to the other half, we can see that they're exactly the same height. So now I've cut my three 2.4 metre lengths of timber into 1.2 metre heights of timber, so basically cut them in half. So these will be my upright support for my staging slash workbench in the greenhouse and I've also marked on here where I'm going to cut out notches where the horizontal piece of wood will go across to make the horizontal parts of the staging so rather than just nailing to the side the horizontals like there or there I'm actually going to cut them out slot them in so it's a neater fit and a much much stronger joint and I've also done, for my second shelf, I've also cut out, or drawn on, 60 centimetres height, these areas where I'm gonna use my mitre saw to cut these out. And just to show you my horizontals that I'm using, these, these 47 mil by 47 mil, 2.4 metre length timbers. So because they're very long, that's why I've got three legs at the front and back just for that extra support in the middle so it's time to cut out these notches so now I've set the depth gauge on the mitre saw that it only cuts as far down as the bottom of this line and I've lined it up with my laser so now I'm just going to make a cut going down clamped it all in place and I've done it on just on the inside and just so it doesn't go quite as far as that just to check the depth and then I'll make any adjustments if I need to so I'll just do that and you can see that's cut so exactly the right depth and what I'll do now is make a series of vertical cuts all in a line to get to the, the line on the right and then I can just chisel out that piece of wood and then hopefully my horizontal piece of wood will slot into the gap. So 
there you can see doing lots and lots of cuts in a row and just picking out the middle bits it's made the notch the size I need and I'll just smooth off the bottom here just with a little wood chisel just to get rid of these little bits that I've missed and I'll continue doing this with all the other legs so I've got my notch cut out for my shelf here I just need to clean that up and then for the top shelf at the top I've used a mitre saw to do one cut there and because I can't fit the piece of wood in horizontally into the mitre saw I'm just going to use my jigsaw just to cut from here to meet this point to cut this part out So we've cut out and cleaned the notches for the shelf here and we've done the top as well with the jigsaw on the mitre so now we're ready to assemble the horizontals into the notches and screw them into position. So now I've got my two sides, put my horizontals in and I've screwed that in as well and I've also put these braces in going across. This is upside down at the moment. So you can see that nice joint at the end here and I put a screw in the back here as well and then I put this is upside down as I mentioned these braces in so when I flip this the right way around I'll be able to put my slats going across which I'm cutting from long lengths into 80 centimeter sorry 60 centimeter lengths and then the slats will go across here so to make the workbench even stronger and more stable I'm going to do some diagonal braces where the corners meet the horizontals and the verticals and so that it will keep it even more rigid so I can put a lot more weight on the bench and it won't sag or move with time. And what I'm going to use is the same as the horizontals so these 47 by 47 millimeter planed treated timber posts and I'm going to mark along the post 25 centimeters and cut them straight across and then I'm going to get my 25 centimeter length put it on to my mitre saw at a 45 degree angle and cut through there so I've got two 45 degree angles at either end of the 25 centimeter lengths and then I'll screw them onto the staging I've got 16 corners to brace so I've cut 16 lengths of 25 centimeter length timber and now I just need to cut these at an angle so I'm going to set it on my mitre saw to 45 degrees so that it will cut these at an angle and they'll end up with something like this. Well, I've just managed to get all my cuts done before the heavens opened. It's absolutely chucking it down outside now where I couldn't be doing my mitre saw table if it was raining this hard. So, got my cuts done and we've got all the lengths with 45 degree angles both sides. So these will fit under here, nice and flush. And I can just screw into the wood on both sides. I've pre-screwed them all at the same sort of distance. And that's just so it makes it easier because these aren't too bad to screw in here. But when I go down underneath, I'll be laying on my back. It's a lot easier if I've already started the screwing. So I'll just make that flush here. This wood here is the same width as the wood above. And then we just get the electric screwdriver drill at the right speed. And slowly just screw that in until it's nice and tight, like so. And then the same with the lower one, so it's nice and flush with the wood. And that's nice and strong now, and it's providing a lot of extra strength for the workbench. So I've got 16 of these to complete and then the staging is finished. So here is a finished greenhouse staging. I've put my braces on now and I've put the slats on top 
So these were 1.8 meter length of batten that I've just chopped into three. So they're 60 centimeters long and I've screwed each one individually on here. And they're nice thick battens and they're very, very strong, not moving at all. And the way I spaced it is basically I put one batten on at the edge, screwed it down, got another batten and use that as a spacer. So this was my gap in between and then put the next one by the side of it and screw that one down. So that's all of it done, apart from the last couple of battens, which I'll just finish off in that far corner. And because I've got my nice diagonal braces on, it is absolutely rigid, extremely strong. I'm sure that can probably hold many hundreds of kilograms of weight if needed. And I'm going to put on some of these grow bag trays and then I can put my pots and plants on here. So that is how I've made my greenhouse staging that will hopefully last for many many years.